What's going on everybody? Check this out. Quick update. Alright, so I just did this video and I'm trying to edit and do all this crap right about these UFOs. Then I come across something else from ABC News. A Washington man is on the run from cops and he is posting on Facebook. Facebook can't get out the news for nothing, can it? This man is on the run. He on posting on Facebook different things like he done changed his relationship status to single. You no shit. You single? Who's dating you now? You're on the run. Of course you're single. All you have is your hand and your gun. If you have a gun, I don't know. But I know you have a hand. You, of course you're single. I don't understand this. Twenty six year old man from Port Ang Angels from Port Angles, Washington is wanted by the State Department of Corrections for failing to check in with his community corrections officer since January. He haven't checked in since January. You know what? You're on probation. Just check in. He ain't asking you to do some amazing shit. He ain't asking you to build the world. He asks you to just check in. Yet, you can post on Facebook. You can check in with Facebook, but you can't check in with your... Come on now. Come on. I I'm just... I'm just wild. And not only that, in other news of Facebook, two men arrested in Facebook clues in Tulsa shooting spree. Two men shot some black guys in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And um and, and, and they're posting on Facebook. If you're gonna do a crime, if you're gonna do a crime and you don't want anybody to know, maybe maybe they do. I'm just saying, maybe maybe they do want people to know. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'd be posting on Facebook. I don't think I would be. Uh... And then they ask, was this a hate crime? Two white guys shot some black guys. You know what? That's a good question. Is it a hate crime? I don't know. Because, uh, you know, I don't know the full story. I haven't actually even read it. I'll leave that up to you guys to read and check it out. <laughs> And, you know, let me know what y'all think about both these crazy incidents. Oh, and a 10-year-old girl. I seen this about a couple of days ago or whatever. 10-year-old gives birth to a daughter. 10-year-old Colombian girl. A 10-year-old Colombian 10 is giving birth. Come on. You know what? You know what? I, you know. I don't know their customs. I don't know what's going on in Colombia. I don't know, man. Maybe they get married at 10. You know, I hear some cultures do that. I don't even know. But, damn, 10 years old and you giving birth, that means you got pregnant somewhere around 9 or the beginning of 10. You know what? I, I don't even see what a 10-year-old can entice me to even say to her. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand what 10-year-olds got to even talk about that I even want to be interested in enough to get you pregnant. I don't understand that. You know, um, I just don't see it. I don't understand these people having sex with these kids and doing all this stuff when, you know, there are so many adults out there that you can be with. You want to do it with a 10-year-old. You know, and I don't know. Maybe the boy was 10 years old. I don't know. But, you know, y'all can check it out. Let me know because this is some crazy stuff. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. I'm just doing this from my cell phone, you know, trying to get it off real quick. That sounded a little sexual. Anyway, uh, catch y'all later. You know, let me know what y'all think because... Mm, I'm not sure about some of this stuff. Mm. Peace. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the links. I'll put it in the bottom somewhere uh, after it's finished done and edited and all that crap. Bye.